What's up all you beautiful YouTube people? At it again. Got the clutch cover off. Pull all the clutches. Got our new clutches soaking. Everything looks good over here. Saw some uh, <clears throat> aluminum chunks where the water pump goes. Looks like we got a tooth missing there. That might have been what the chunks were. Maybe it wasn't aluminum. Just waiting on parts. Figure we get this uh, these clutches done while we're waiting. Other than that, everything looks good. I really don't know what would have broken that unless one of those bolts got over here on this side. Right there. I don't think it's anything to be too concerned about because it's just one tooth. I don't know. So anyways, everything else uh, looks good. Nothing broken. Clutch basket's looking alright. Not a bunch of play in it. No sloppy. Somebody's been in here though. I know that for a fact. Jack. So, anyways, that's where we're at. We, uh, the help of my buddy, put her up on the saw horses. Made me a little frame where they can sit on the saw horses. It's locked in with this 2x4. There's another one over there and then it's strapped down. Plus and these are here to keep the saw horses where they're supposed to be. That way if I need to I can take this off because these are screwed in from the bottom. That way I can step right up in there if I need to. So that's where we're at. Got the new clutches over here uh, soaking in the old Halloween bowl. Right there. There's a soak overnight. Got the new valve cover, new head right there, new cylinder right there. Aw, snap! New piston's already on there. I'm waiting for a new wrist pin because this one right here is from the other one and it's an aftermarket. I mean, this is an aftermarket piston too, but as you can see, this pin's a lot shorter than the other one. It doesn't come all the way up to the clip. So I ordered a stock one to put in there. It should fix the problem. I'm hoping that we don't run into any more issues. I mean, so far everything looks good. All the bearings are good. It's just that one tooth has got a chunk out of it. So, I've looked down into the bottom of the motor. I don't see a bunch of metal in there. Looked down in from right there. Everything looks good. The uh, crankshaft, however, does have some bluing on it. Right there. So I guarantee you they got hot as shit once. That's probably why I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess that that's why they rebuilt the top end the first time. Either that or somebody just wanted a 686 kit, big bore. Not 100% on that one to be honest. But now we're this far in. Really, there's nothing more to it than that. I mean, we could go a little bit deeper, but it's not necessary. If anybody thinks I should change that gear, let me know. I mean, obviously, uh, it's not right and it shouldn't be like that, but is it going to cause a problem? Is it going to cause a weak point where, when it's at that stage right there, that it winds up breaking another tooth off? That's a good question. So. I don't know. Just wanted to give the old update. Pretty deep into this. Didn't want to be this deep into it, but... Here we are. And then also we found a crack in the frame. But, ya boy has a welder and welding skill, so... We're going to weld that back together. 
and we're gonna make it right. The uh, bushing on this brake lever is blown out too, so I have to get a new one of those. That's something I can do later on though, it's not a big deal. As far as everything else, uh, check and clean the oil uh, orifices and stuff. Make sure there's nothing plugged up. Make sure we're getting oil everywhere it's supposed to be. If it can get air through, it can get oil through. Yeah, that's about all I got for you. It's uh, like 85, 90 degrees right now. It went straight from uh, like in the 60s of not knowing whether or not to pack a sweater during the day and be put your sweater on taking your sweater off yesterday to 85 degrees today to where you're just sweating balls and it's damn ridiculous let me tell you but it's better than having hurricanes it's better than having earthquakes and I guess it's better than having dust storms so I'll take it I will take it last little puddle of oil came out this side cover completely drained of oil I want some uh, AMS oil. That's what we want it going with. We got the AMS oil on the way. Uh, there's the other part of the clutch kit. Gonna get this thing put in tomorrow. Hopefully I get my gasket set soon and that wrist pin. And I can set my cylinder. And then I should be able to set my heads. Get those all torqued down. I got new um, exhaust manifold bolts, studs, and bolt or nuts on the way too because the ones that are on this head are pretty messed up. So I got every part on the way. I even got coolant today too. So we got coolant for the little radiator. We got everything. Everything's coming. Two new oil filters. Those are going to be the AMS oil oil filters. I don't know what else. I think I think that's everything. Because most of the stuff's already showed up. So that's what we're down to. She's gonna be a screamer. <laughs> that that crack on that frame, man. That goes from there all the way around to the other side. So God I'm glad I can weld. Because otherwise that'd be some shit send it out and have it fixed and or uh, the worst case scenario would be having to replace a frame yes all right so I was told that uh, when you soak your clutches you don't got to use nothing special so we just got the uh, non-synthetic 10w40 four stroke just the cheap shit so That'll do it. Update you once uh, we start getting this motor back together a little bit more. Until next time, keep it classy.